What's up guys, Official Vulnerable here, and this is my first tutorial on root in a long time. I'm gonna be showing you how to root your brand new Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge on the latest Android Lollipop 5.0.2 at the moment. Now this only works on certain S6 Edge and S6 variants, primarily all except the Verizon and AT&T versions at the moment. Once a method for those is created, I will post a new tutorial, but for now, this works on just about every other carrier, just not AT&T and Verizon at the moment. So I've got a T-Mobile one right here, this also works on US Cellular and of course on all the international versions. Now this is an extremely simple process. I'm gonna hold your hand through this entire process. It's a lot simpler than you guys think. Now why root? First off, there's a lot of reasons why you would root. The Galaxy S6 comes with a lot of bloatware and if you guys wanna remove a lot of this stuff, you guys can't do. You can just disable it, but you can't actually remove it from your device. So it takes up a lot of room, you know, it's unnecessary. That's one reason you can remove that. Two, you can install custom ROMs. Install a fully custom ROM, make your device true truly unique, truly unique to yourself. I mean, you can install a Galaxy Note 4 ROM on this if you choose so. There's so much possibilities. I mean, free tethering first off, there's there's a ton guys. And if you guys wanna see 10 reasons why you should root, click on that video right there. It'll make it a little bit more clear for you, but there are a ton of compelling reasons why you wanna root, especially when it's so simple. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be showing you this on Windows 8.1 and my Galaxy S6 Edge T-Mobile. Yeah, sorry about the cracks. Uh, I use this in a drop test video, but it still works. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this will void your warranty. As with jailbreaking an iOS device, it does void the warranty. However, you can remove the root. I will have a guide for that as well. You can remove any evidence that you ever rooted your device. So if you ever need service, you can always send in your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge and have them serviced, no problem. So just wanna let you guys know, while it is rooted, Samsung will refuse you service. Anyways, you guys will need four files. Well, actually three, but I will have download links right here. So go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to the full guide, full article with all the links and your troubleshooting in there as well. So what these four files include is for one, Samsung Galaxy S6 drivers. You guys wanna make sure that they are properly installed. Your computer does recognize your device. You know, that's that's first and foremost. And you guys should have that installed so it's not necessary that you do need to install that. Next, you guys will need Odin 3.10.6 as well as a tar file. So the process we're gonna be using is we're gonna install custom recovery on the device first. If you guys don't know, custom recovery allows you to install a custom firmware from the device which is really cool. Now you guys don't necessarily need this in order to root. However, it is important to have after rooting, it will allow you to install custom ROMs. And that's one of the big reasons why people root in the first place. So that's your custom ROM right there. And using this custom ROM, we're gonna install Super User. That's the last file you guys need to download. Of course, that's pretty much the city of Android. All right, so once you have all of these downloaded, make sure to have all of these downloaded and your device properly set up with the drivers, we can go ahead and continue. Now, first off, I want you guys to go ahead and plug your device in and enter either the SD card or internal memory and take that super user file and drag it into there. So it can be anywhere, but I prefer it for it to be in the root file. Anyways, so once you come in here, that super user file is right there. So cool. Anyways, we need to go ahead and put our device into download mode. All right, so first and foremost, go ahead and unplug your device. And now we need to turn this guy off. And once this guy is off, we're gonna go ahead and enter download mode by holding the volume down button, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Now you will enter download mode almost right away, so go ahead and click on those and keep holding them. And there you go. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a warning. Okay, go ahead and select up to enter the download mode. And now you are downloading. So now we need to on our desktop, open up Odin. So go ahead and open up that zip file. And if you guys are on Mac, there is a Mac version. However, I would highly recommend doing this whole process on a Windows computer. Now make sure when running Odin that you do right click on it and do not remove it from this actual folder. All of these files it needs in here. So right click on it, select open. And of course you guys do wanna extract it. All right, so here we go, extracted version. Right click on it, select run as administrator. Select yes, all right, and here we go. So when you plug in your device, you should see in Odin that you do have a colored port up here. So mine says COM4, it's a little small. Uh, let me try and zoom in here. All right, so you will see a COM. I don't know why it's so small for me, but anyways, uh, when your device is plugged in, there'll be COM4, it'll say a random number, and you guys are ready to go. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and select this AP key right here, and we're gonna select that .tar file. Now it's right here. 
Now remember, make sure to download the one specific to your device. There is a special one for Sprint phones for the regular one. There is no Sprint S6 Edge version yet at the making of this video. However, I will upload as soon as it's there, should be a couple of days or so. And remember, there is a certain S6 and S6 Edge version of that tar file. So make sure to download your specific one. Select that. And I wanna let you guys know, as soon as you click start, we're gonna go ahead and put our device into recovery mode because the reason is this guy does not have a removable battery, so it's gonna boot us right away into stock recovery. We wanna make sure to get into the TWRP recovery. So as soon as you click start, you're gonna hold the volume up. Actually, you're gonna hold it first, but as soon as you click start, you're gonna click them all and hold them until you see the Samsung logo, all right? So make sure to time this right. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. Here we go, clicking start in three, two, one, hold the home, volume up, and power. And as soon as you see the Samsung Galaxy S6 logo, let go of that power button, keep holding the volume up and home buttons. All right, and there you go. So if you guys time this correctly, you will enter the Team Win Recovery Project or the TWRP Custom Recovery. So uh, it actually took me about three or four times. You know, nobody's perfect, but you guys can go ahead and restart, retry. If you guys don't get it the first time, uh, eventually you'll get the timing right. Make sure you are using the correct file. I was using the wrong one. So anyways, here we go. In here, all you guys want to do is go ahead and select Install, and we already dragged that file onto our device. So go ahead and find that uh, update super user right there and go ahead and swipe to begin the install it'll go ahead and install and this is what's going to get you rooted right here cool it said successful so we're going to go home and over here reboot right here system so in a moment here we're going to restart and we should see super user on our device we should be fully rooted on the latest version of android 5.0.2 now this won't last long actually samsung is releasing 5.1 very soon but as soon as that's out i'll show you guys how to uninstall this and install the newest version and then root that again but anyways uh, in a moment here we should be restarting and i'll be right back to show you guys that you are rooted on your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. Now guys, unfortunately my device was put into the boot loop. It shouldn't happen for you. However, if it does, I have a quick solution for you guys. So you guys wanna download the Chainfire Auto Root also down below in the description in the link. It'll be an additional file also in a MDB file format, also readable by Odin. So anyways, you guys wanna download that, I have it right here. Again, go to the AP selection. Go ahead and select the chain fire root. And if your device is stuck in a boot loop, uh, just go ahead and hold the down, home, and power. When it does go to the dark screen, hold those, and it'll reboot in this uh, download mode if you hold those correctly. And uh, eventually, Plug it in, install the chain to fire root into the AP section of Odin, and go ahead and select open. And now down here, select start. So it'll go ahead and run its process. Eventually your device will restart and it will no longer be in a boot loop. So I'm just gonna stick with you guys right here. Now this is extremely rare for your device to be in a boot loop. The only reason I'm showing you guys is because, you know, who knows, it could happen. And I don't want you guys to be stuck with a device that's uh, boot looped. So anyways, you guys will see this. This is the chain fire root taking effect. Uh, and by the way, if your device ever becomes unresponsive, you hold the volume down and the power button in order to hard reset this guy if you want to get into download or recovery just to let you guys know anyways so here we go my device is restarting it was in a boot loop unfortunately and here we go it is finally working again so uh, don't worry guys remember everything is fixable no matter what happens so what we're doing here isn't really going to break your device permanently if it does if we get in a boot loop obviously we can fix it just like this all right so uh android is upgrading and in a moment here we should be done now we have custom recovery installed and the super user root let's go to applications scroll down and here we go super user so if it does ask you to install uh, binaries you can go ahead and do that but looks like mine is configured so i'm going to go ahead and download an app from the play store which will tell me that i am rooted all right so here is titanium backup i have downloaded it it's a root only program and here i am granting permission so there we go guys you are now fully rooted on the latest android lollipop 5.0.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Of course, if you guys do get a boot loop, it's really easy to fix it down below in the description. I'll have all of the information on that down below. You guys shouldn't have any kind of issues. The only time you could have a boot loop is on an Edge, 
but even if that happens, as you guys can see, very easy, very fixable. So now you're fully rooted with a custom recovery. You can go ahead and install custom ROMs on your device. Of course, make sure they are compatible and I will be posting more root videos about why you should root, custom ROM, stuff like that. Subscribe guys if you haven't already. And I'm gonna be releasing some more tutorials for the HTC One M9, the S5, S4. Get caught up on all my tutorials. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you rooted your device finally and enjoy the freedom. Have a great day guys. Peace.